Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. We are back here with Little No Man's Sky, and this is the follow-up video for the expedition. I have completed it, so I'm going to show off the rewards here and talk a little bit about my thoughts on the expedition. So, uh, we'll get right into the rewards. This is going to be your uh, decal for the expedition, and then you've got the three posters that you get uh, this was like the first stage one. Um, if if you didn't know, No Man's Sky has its own alphabet, which kind of just adds um, depth to the game. So that's what these. It's actually written. Rise up is written above on this poster here, and this poster says base. Uh, that one says Utopia because that's the that's the expedition that you got the the banner for. So uh, I'll. Uh, I'll throw that up on screen now. I have I have a I have a screenshot of the whole the whole No Man's Sky alphabet. I'll th I'll throw that up on the screen now so you guys can screenshot it or whatever. Um, this little guy is also one of the rewards, the uh, holographic Gek. I uh, sure it's interesting. Um, I'm not seeing a, a whole lot of uses for it. Maybe it adds a little ambiance to an otherwise boring room, but you can't interact with it or anything like that. Um, this helmet that I'm wearing is definitely not a uh, Sith Lord. I painted it black because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get confused with any other inter intergalactic evil beings. Um, but I think it's a pretty good looking helmet. We'll hang on to it. A um, yeah, couple other things we got here. Obviously everybody knows about the ship. I'll show you that in just a minute. But we got this... Um, little companion as well. Uh, it uh, eats ion batteries, can't be ridden, can't wear accessories. Not, uh, I haven't seen it do anything particularly useful. I guess it just pooped down there, but what does it poop? I guess we'll go look. Can I reach that? No. Pretty weird that a robot has fecium, but that's cool. So it got dark on us while I was talking inside, but this is the Utopia Speeder. Basically looks like a, uh, a snow speeder fighter with a little bit more, a little bit of mustard on it. Nice looking ship. I'll show it to you here in photo mode. The glyphs down below will bring you to my platinum farm if you're in Odalati. That's Galaxy 256. Uh, Platinum farm makes about 55,000 uh, units of platinum every visit, but good looking ship here. I uh, I like all the extra attachments and stuff they threw on it. Uh, the back of it I think looks really nice. If you can ignore the rock stuck in the wing, but pretty good looking ship. And. I added an economy scanner because I put it on all of my all of my starships. I find it annoying to not have one. Uh, it has some upgrades. It does come with a few S-Class upgrades, but for the most part, um, it's a pretty pretty standard pretty standard ship. Uh, it flies it flies real nice. It has super high maneuverability, so it is uh, very responsive and a ton of fun to fly. So I, I do like this one a lot for planet-side exploration and whatnot. Oh. It, uh, it has the look of a ship I like, it has the maneuverability of a ship I like. I, I just want to see what its top end um, warp, warp distance is going to be. So that that'll be the only the only hang up I have on it is is if it's not uh, if it's not good for for warping I probably won't be able to use it as my daily driver but I like a lot about it. So uh, regarding the expedition, I'm flying way too fast. Can we land? Thank you. Um, regarding the expedition, there are it's not a difficult expedition. It only took me just under four hours. I want to say about three hours and 45 minutes to complete. Um, the hardest part about the expedition was uh, 
remembering that you can't craft anywhere but but a base. So normally, like I'm standing on a base now, so it's a bad example, but normally if you're out and about, you can craft metal plating, you can craft you know, warp fuel, you can craft, you know, just inventory crafting stuff, all of this stuff you can craft anywhere you want. But within the confines of the expedition, you are limited to crafting within the base footprint. So you have to go back to one of your bases uh, and craft there. So it's a little bit, it's, it's more irritating than difficult because if you get all the way out to, for example, when you need to repair your starship at the beginning, if you forget an, forget an item, you have to go back and craft it at your base. So that can, that can create a little bit of irritation, I'll say. Um, the other thing is you will need a lot of chromatic metal. You will need a lot of pure ferrite. I, uh, a base computer in a normal save, as you can see, costs 30 chromatic metal here. Within the expedition, they increased that cost to 200, um, 200 chromatic metal and 500 pure ferrite. So you're going to be doing quite a lot of mining or purchasing. So you'll want to make sure you're collecting, uh, I was collecting copper and ferrite dust along the way so you don't have to go out and search for it. And then just as a reminder, a, uh, a base does not have to be super extravagant. There are some amazing creative builders in the No Man's Sky community making bridges that span canyons and giant robot guitar players and a lot of that stuff you can see in in the uh, anomalies featured bases and whatnot. You don't have to you don't you don't have to build a giant robot bear playing the guitar. It's you, you need 15 placed pieces to make your base uploadable. That's all they're looking for. So you don't you don't even have to build a square with a roof. I mean this would this would be overkill if you built this. So keep that in mind. Don't waste your resources, and you'll you'll get it done significantly significantly quicker. So, that all being said, if you found this video to be useful, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to find your way back here for more No Man's Sky content, go ahead and hit that sub button. Uh, we have just hit 250 subscribers. Uh, the goal for this year is 1,000, so uh, all, every subscriber really does help. At the end of the year, or if we, when, whenever we hit that sub goal, I'm going to be doing some sort of a giveaway, so keep an eye on my socials for information regarding that. That all being said, thank you for watching and have a great day.